Welcome to episode 152 of Clarity Compressed. Today I'm all dressed up in my fancy suit jacket. Well, it's a blazer with a hood, of course, because it's not a normal day. Today I'm going to the clubhouse. We're making our way through the fog of life and Clarity is understanding where we are on the map. You are here. <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. All right, if you haven't heard that there's this new social media app called Clubhouse. And if you know, you know, but if you didn't know, then you're going to know now. So Clubhouse is an audio only social media app and it's invite only and it's exclusive and it makes people feel important because they're a part of Clubhouse. Now, I'm not saying that just so I have the opportunity to tell you that I'm a member of Clubhouse, but I happen to be. It's also only available on iPhone as if iPhone users needed just another reason to feel like they were better than everybody else. They really didn't, but it really is because the app hasn't been developed for Android yet. And it's a really, it's a baby app. It was just developed less than six months ago or a little more than six months ago. Two developers, Paul Davidson and Rohan Seth developed this app. These, um, you know, former Google, former, uh, tech, uh, tech company builders. So they're savvy. They raised about $12 million at a hundred million dollar valuation, got the company going. And they said, Hey, this is either going to be dead by June or it's going to be the next big thing. Well, guess what? I'm telling you right now, it's the next big thing. There are so many things about this very simple app, very simple. At the same time, it takes a minute to figure out how to navigate it. You know, really being on the platform here, I'll show you when you log into the app, all you see are a bunch of rooms. Let me explain the premise of the app. So this is an audio only interface. So you cannot post a picture. You cannot post a video. You cannot write a post. You cannot direct message someone. Well, you're probably saying like, what else? What can I do on this? That's what every other social media platforms. You can only listen or speak. It's all you can do. The only media visual media on here is a profile picture. You get a profile. Here's mine. I can put my profile picture in. I can write a description. You have a lot of room to write your description, fill out your profile. It directly links to either or and or Twitter and or Instagram. Nowhere else. No Facebook, no LinkedIn and you can't get in unless you get invited. What the heck? This platform is brilliant in so many ways. The most unique thing about this platform is that is a passive social media platform. What I mean when I say that is the fact that you don't have to be really paying attention to it to participate in it. You could have it playing in the background. You can be listening to a conversation and your phone could be off, power down. You could be on another social media platform and still be listening to the conversation going on in clubhouse. Here's the premise. Imagine if you were in a conference, you went to a conference and there are many rooms where people are having conversation where there's a speaker and there's an audience and you just walk into that room mid conversation, mid sentence, and you were able to hear what was going on hear the speaker. You can look around the room and say, Oh, okay. I, I see who is in here. And maybe there's someone standing up with a microphone asking a question to one of the moderators, the single moderator or panel. And then that question gets answered. Or maybe you have the opportunity to get the microphone and ask a question and have it answered. Well, that's basically what this app is in a nutshell. You can wander in and out of conversations that happen in what they call rooms. So you can set up a room to talk about a topic. People can join. And when you join, so I'm not going to be able to, um, probably use this audio because part of the rules of terms of service is you cannot record and, you know, redistribute the audio recording without the permission of the speaker. So we're not going to do that, but we're going to jump in a room here. So the rooms that are going on right now, we're all not really strangers. Share your truth. There's another room with no topic, get the bag. And it's got a picture of a money bag. It says the pitch event you don't want to miss. What's the best advice you've ever been given. So I drop into this room, I'm going to turn it down. So I'm not recording anything right now. And basically what you have is you have moderators up top and then below that you have people who are followed by the speaker. So if one of the speakers is follows you, you get a little props and a little credibility listed up higher on the list. 
and then other people in the room below that, and then that just keeps on going. And then at the bottom, you have some functionality across the bottom where you can leave quietly. You can hit this little plus button, and then you can ping anyone else that you know and say, hey, I'm in this room, you should come join, All right? Little good social element of it there. Or you could raise your hand. If you hit that button, you raise your hand, the moderator can say, oh, he has a question, let me call on him. Speak it right here at top red. So we're not recording, but it says heads up sharing recordings without speakers permission violates community guidelines and will result in suspension. Thanks. I'm telling you right now, this is the next big thing. This is brand new. I think a lot of people are spending a lot of time on this platform right now and they don't fully understand like the value transfer of it. They're trying to determine whether or not the time they're spending on the platform is worth it. And I think a lot of people are saying it is worth it. But just like any new thing, it's funny, everyone wandering around, it's like trying to teach your dad how to use tech. Like, how does this work? How does that work? Because the interface is a little different, but it's it's fairly intuitive, definitely new tools. Just the fact that you can't post a picture, a video, make a comment, I think it takes a lot of the toxicity out of internet. If you think internet is full of like toxic behavior because it's like telephone tough guy in the sense that I can make this comment and be really, um, really distinct or actually probably a lot meaner or more aggressive than I would be if we were in person or had some level of relational accountability. Can't just post a picture, can't just post a comment, can't DM. Instead, it's you're live in a room speaking. I actually think that this is gonna be a lot more civil of a platform, so I'm thankful for that. A platform that lends itself to civility. So a very low friction platform, brave new world. Everyone's gonna figure out how to leverage it you know, a lot of business people on there. How can I grow my business? How can I get network better? How can I learn educational platform? It'll be interesting to see how this is monetized. At some point, every platform will be monetized. So they're going to be ads or pro promoted groups, sponsored groups, all of that. It's a brave new world. This is Clubhouse. Just thought I'd talk about it a little bit here so that if you didn't know, well, you know now the app is Clubhouse. It's the place to be, I think. I'm really excited that you just were a part of this podcast. I tried to do something where it was a live clubhouse room while I was recording the podcast. I thought my phone would record the audio. It didn't. So I was trying to hold it up to the microphone. You know, probably not the best experience if you're listening to the podcast and not watching it. So I wanted to record uh, another one just so we could see which one works out better. Either way, I've never done a podcast about a social media platform. However, it is a really relevant conversation. I think it's really something that um, all of us will probably end up interacting with, with at one point or another. And if you like podcasts and you're going to like clubhouse, cause you like listening already, you like the format and you like the media type already. So I hope you have an amazing week. There's so much going on in the world. It's nice to just talk about people coming together and learning from one another and helping one another, which if you believe the narrative that you see in the media, it's none of that. So I hope this podcast, that clubhouse, that our relationship is one of those places you can get a breath of fresh air, a little exhale, and just say, hey, there is good worth leaning into. And some of that good is being here with you. I hope you have an amazing week, and I'll see you next week. You just gotta love so